Good afternoon. This video is actually going to be a new series and it's really going to cover how to convert or how to move from a classic Big AP configuration using your traditional LTM command line configuration, maybe it's using TMSH, to using AS3. AS3 is the Application Services 3.0 API framework. And there's a, an entire tool chain that is built around AS3. And all of the ecosystems integrate quite nicely with, with AS3. But AS3 is a declarative-based API. It's a declarative-based tool that requires you to build a JSON file with an AS3 spec, and the AS3 spec is based on the AS3 schema. And you might ask yourself, well, what happens if I have an existing LTM configuration and I want to convert that LTM configuration? Or what happens if I have an entire big IP and I want to convert that entire big IP to AS3? And then from there, maybe I can make some modifications to that configuration and maybe make it different or potentially migrate it maybe from one environment to another. And you're really moving from that concept of an imperative model to the declarative model. So where you're using the UI to configure the big IP to now using an API, using a REST framework or some tool chain or some automation pipeline or flow to actually configure the big IP. So the first place to start is to become familiar with the AS3 construct. But the AS3 construct is quite large. And so it does take some time to become familiar with it. And if and since I've been working with AS3 for three years, if I had to provide some recommendation and some guidance, I would say build yourself a framework, a template, somewhere to start. And the AS3 configurator, configuration converter is really that start. It's really that framework. It's going to give you your apps that then you can go and play back. So let's take a look at this framework. And the goal of this first video is really to talk about what is the framework, how do I install the framework, and can I just run a very simple, conf very simple configuration from a UCS file to a JSON file, and then of course to go and take a look at the difference. And so the first thing that you have to do is go to this page on Cloud Docs, and it's gonna it's gonna talk a little bit about getting started, but the most important thing is that you need to install the ACC tool. And it, the ACC tool in this first demo is going to be Docker-based. There's multiple ways to do this, and I'm going to show you the different, different ways of doing it over multiple videos. But the first video, I'm just going to use Docker running on my Mac. Or if you have a Windows machine, you can run Docker on your Windows machine and pull down the files. So the first thing that you would need to do to install ACC is you need to download the tar file from the GitHub repo. And then you need to load it into your Docker registry. So I have Docker here. And if I go and do a Docker image, or Docker images, I should say. I don't have the right version that I want to use. I'm, I have a release candidate, but I want to use the GitHub version. And so GitHub here is your source for getting help, for getting support, and for communicating with the community. Um, so you're welcome to open any issues if you have issues, but this location is off F5 Dev Central, and then you'll find it as F5 
AS3 config converter. And we, we have an active development team on this and active product management. So the, 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 this is a well-polished um, tool and you can see we're actually working on our 15th release. So it's not like a brand new tool. It's been around for a little while. Um, and we, we keep on adding more and more and more stuff to it. So the first thing that what you would need to do is to pull down the latest. And so what you can do here is you can just simply just download this and just download this to your to your desktop. And then the next thing is that you would want to install this. And I could actually just go and do a docker load minus I and the name of that file. And so I'll just paste that right here and the name of that file. And this is the version, let's see, it was 1.14, I believe, S3 converter. Let me just go back to the version. Ah, oh, there we go, 1.14. And that's, S, yep, V1, version 1. I got, there we go, that's perfect. And at this point, it is tar.gz. So just make sure tar.gz. You can press enter here. At this point, what it's going to do, it's going to load it into my Docker framework. And here I can go do a Docker images. And so now I have that version 114, which is a release candidate. These are release candidates because these are hot fixes for, for some issues I ran into. So there is the version of Docker. So now what I can do is I can actually go ahead and run a conversion against that. So let's go and take a look at the next step. And so the next step is to run a very simple conversion. So what I what I want to do here is since I'm using a Linux-based machine on the Mac, I want to go ahead and use a Docker run from the specific app directory um, with the version of with with the version of the ACC. And then I'm going to use what kind of output data do I want and what kind of input data. So this is actually really interesting. Your input data here in this case is a UCS file. So a UCS file is an archive, right? So you can archive the UCS and you can input this UCS file. But you can also use a big IP LTM configuration. So if you don't want to use a UCS file, you can just say minus C instead of using U, you could say minus C for LTM. So you could do minus C big IP dot conf, for example, and then it will run that. So let's go ahead, cut and paste this, and then make the associated substitutes that we would need. Okay. So the first thing, oopsie, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the name of our file and the name of our file in this case we're going to use let's use version 14 why not so we'll use something called v14 oh, let's get the name of this entire file pull in this file here so it's we want v14 dash test test dot UCS okay and I want this file as my big AP JSON so I'll just call this v14 slash JSON oh, it's already there um, how about output dot JSON and the last thing I need to do here is just put the specific tag. This is the Docker tag. So this is v1.14.0. So this should be this should be all I all I need at this point to to run this. Um, I need to make sure that that um, everything is good and, and you can see that it's perfect. There we go. So it ran. I can run a little bit more verbose mode. Um, there's a few things I can I can do, but you will notice now that I have this output file um, of v14.json um, on 
my machine, which I'm going to drag in here in a minute. So this is just an error of the file. This is not really um, the proper editor, but you can actually see here that this is what was what was converted. So I took that UCS file and I converted this to an AS3 JSON. Now the first thing you'll notice is that my big IP that I originally created was created in common. So all the objects were created in common. So that's why what ACC is going to give you is the objects in common. So it, at this point, you you might not want to necessarily use common again. And I'm going to make some additional videos of the of best practices going from ACC to a tenant-based configuration. Because AS3 is what we call tenant-based. So we wouldn't necessarily put the configuration back in common. We would write to a different partition, to a different tenant. Maybe that would be an application tenant, etc. But what this has definitely given me here is it's, gef it's, it's given me um, a, conf a, a configuration that I can work with. So you'll notice that the talent is common. Um, I, I'm using something called a shared template. Shared template is going to share the It's going to share the objects with, with within this JSON or within this tenant. You don't have to use shared tenants or shared objects. You can you can remove that. And so that would be in another another um, video where I would kind of go through that. But you'll see right here. And then this is, for example, where we start to look at you know some of the some of the examples where we kind of go we kind of go through you know some of the pools etc so the virtual you can kind of see that here so here's here's basically a, a breakdown of everything that's underneath here we have something called splash which is really just uh the name of the of the of the kind of like match if you want to call it that um specifically with this rule set right so there's a rule set there for splash uh you will notice here that there is a a pool and its pool members and as you can see here it's got a pool member of 10 dot something shared nodes is equal to true so we're going to create the object in common and then of course it has this pool member has a monitor which is a reference monitor for http and then it's a class of class pool so you create this pool and then this pool gets this pool this, this pool of pool agility labs udp gets added to the virtual server so you can see how it's added right here there is the pool there is that very simple test i rule and there is a couple of profiles down here and there is the virtual server and so you can actually see this is the crux of that main kind of like application if you go ahead and select it there here's really the main piece of the application the other pieces are part of this file so that is a very 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 simple conversion and so there are many other ways to do this or well, there's a few other ways I should say to do this and I'm going to show those as well but now what you have is that once you've exported this now you have this to kind of play back and so playing back or putting this configuration back onto the big IP after some manipulation is really where we're going to go next. And so I'm going to show you a couple of other ways to get this get this input f and going from the configuration of using a UCS file to a configuration of JSON, maybe using a um, a REST API tool, and then I'm going to dig dig further into using VS Code. So that's really for the first video. So keep on watching these videos. We'll talk a little bit more about about this ACC tool. So just to recap, so the first thing that we did is that we installed the ACC tool, and then we we did a quick conversion from a UCS file to a JSON file. We opened the JSON file and we could actually see what was actually created uh, through the conversion process uh, with using the tool.